Ahead on Daytime Buffalo, Donovan Orchard stops by with a taste of their latest collection and information on where you can find it for yourself. And high-tech problems need high-tech solutions, and that's just what they have. Clear VU Camera Solutions is here to tell us all about their products. It's all coming up right now on Daytime Buffalo. Good afternoon, hello, and welcome to Daytime Buffalo. I'm your host, Chelsea Lavelle. Joining me now are Scott and Stacey of Donovan's Orchards. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for Hi. joining me. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you for having us, Chelsea. Well, I'll well, start with you, Scott. Why don't you tell us about Donovan's Orchards and how you got started? Well, uh, I started Donovan Orchards in 2006 when I purchased a 40-acre lakeside orchard in Somerset, New York, with the intent of making hard ciders. And we were really one of the early entrants in the hard cider market in this, this part of the country, really. And uh, in 2011, we became a licensed cidery under Donovan Orchard's Blackbird Cider Works. Mm. And, you know that uh, name, right? Oh, yes. It became a very popular brand, not only in the western New York area, but beyond. We had distribution in other states. And a couple years ago, we decided that we wanted to get out of the wholesale distribution aspect of producing alcoholic beverages and focus more on artisanal. And we actually sold the Blackbird brand only to Resurgence Brewing Company. And we're really happy about them. We think they'll do a nice job with that. And the new company is Donovan Orchards Estate Ciders. Mm -hmm. And our focus is really to elevate the agricultural aspects of hard cider, starting with the fact that we are using exclusively the apples that we grow in our orchards, which we've planted over 30 varieties over the last uh, 18 years, and also using uh, low intervention techniques. So we're over the last six months, we've um, found ways to either reduce or eliminate a lot of the additives like sugar, uh, some of the preservatives, and other aspects um, to enhance the flavor of the cider and make them more like traditional ciders that are made in Europe. Okay, all right. Um, you, traditional cider making is really a focus for you. So do you want to talk a little bit more about what that means? Absolutely. So first of all, it starts with the fruit that you use. So we are now focused on uh, four or five collections of fruit that we have in our orchards. We have an English collection, which is comprised of um, apples that are grown in the uh, English cider region of, of Europe. Uh, we have an um, American antique collection, which has a lot of um, antique varieties that go back to the colonial times. And then we have a Niagara blend and then a modern blend. And using those to make um, these new ciders, in fact, um, the other big difference is that we are using the traditional method to carbonate the ciders so that they're like champagne rather than uh, carbonated in a, a bright tank with a carbonation stone. So that's another big difference, and that's why we have champagne flouts uh, I see. to uh, represent that. Now, you have a special collection of single varietals. Tell us about those. Great. I'm glad you asked that question. We uh, It's something that we're really excited about focusing on, because we've had the apples in our orchards for probably 12 or 15 years. And uh, for example, this, this cider um, is our, it's called Greens Inn. It's a uh, cider that is produced with 100% Rhode Island greening apples, which is actually one of the first apples ever invented in America. It goes back to the 1650s. We have another one that's made with russets, also a very old apple in the US. So those are 100% those apples, great flavors. Uh, most of them are dry and done using uh, the traditional method to sparkle them. Okay, I'm gonna to go to you, Stacy, because you also have events. Let's talk about those. We do. Um, we have two locations. We have our orchard and manufacturing tasting room, Lake Ontario um, in Somerset, New York. And we offer orchard walks once a week there, which are really great um, ticketed events that you can find on our Instagram at Donovan Estate Orchards. Um, we also, this week we're doing our first um, cider pairing dinner there, Ooh. which should be really interesting and exciting. We're pairing up with um, a local chef in the Niagara County area, which should be great. Um, we're going to have, we're hosting an eclipse party 
out there. Okay, the that's April, exciting. So that'll be really fun too. All of these events are ticketed. Um, you can find them on our Instagram at Donovan Orchards. We also have the Buffalo Cider Hall, which is a little bit more local, right here on Chandler Street. Mm -hmm. And we offer events there as well, private parties. We do bocce ball in the summertime and we have a full array of cider tasting there as well as beer and local wine. Okay, exciting stuff. So what are your most popular products? Well, I would say right now that one of the most popular products is uh, the Buffalo Bluegrass, which is, this is a bourbon barrel aged cider that we actually have been making since 2014. It's one of the seven ciders that we kept and did not sell with the uh, Blackbird brand. So we've rebranded the, the bottle. It's actually a gold medal winning cider. And um, that's, I would say that is one of my favorites. Um, we, we did a big brother of it, uh, a cider that's done in a rye barrel that's done using a traditional method to sparkle it. So those are two of my, my favorites. I like it. What do you see for the future of the cidery? Well, really excited about the future. The, the biggest thing I think is just um, finding new ways to produce cider um, to become more um, low intervention and also um, elevating the apple as the star of the show because none of the ciders that we're going to be making in the future um, will have like flavorings in them and all of them will be either in this size bottle or a 500 milliliter smaller bottle which we think is the ideal package to um, store and age a cider. Alrighty, Stacy and Scott, thank you so much thank for you, coming Chelsea. in. Thank you. Viewers, to shop their products or learn more about the orchard, head over to their website at DonovanOrchards.com. Thanks again for coming in. Thank, thank you very you. much.